Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. Today I am participating in the National Storytelling Week collaboration hosted by Julia McNeil Crafts um, and this is a collab where um, you share a story that you enjoy and um, talk about how it inspired you and so there's a lot of people doing this collab this week um, I'll talk more about that in a minute um, but my book that I chose is a Blinky Bill, a story that I chose. Um, this book is really quite old. I've had it since I was little and it's got some really cool pictures in it and it's got a, sto a story about Blinky Bill growing up. I took a photo, some photos of some of these images and put them into Medibang Paint and created this poster-like um, picture. So I'm going to be painting this with watercolour today and I'll time-lapse that and um, have a little bit of, chat, bit of a chat about this collab. So here I am starting to paint the picture that I printed out um, from the pictures in the book. When I was a kid I really wanted to colour these in and I, I'm happy that I restrained myself because um, I always just wanted to do it. So when I thought about doing this collab I thought it was a perfect time to maybe take some of those images out of the book and colour them in. Uh, so a little bit about this collab, it's being hosted by Julia McNeil Crafts and uh, she put a, a call out and asked if anyone would like to do a collaboration and I said yes so this is a group collaboration um, and yeah there's a lot of other people involved so some of the other people that are involved and I'll link to all these people in the description are Call Me Crafty Owl, Artoonish, Debbie J's Crafting Corner, Shiny Silver, Planner Crafts, Coral Creations and SBT, SBT Crafty Corner. So, um, and obviously myself. So, um, the idea behind the collaboration was for National Storytelling Week, as I mentioned earlier, and it was to talk about a story that inspired you to do what you do. Um, and so, I picked Blinky Bill because um, I read this book multiple times when I was a child. And I also used to watch the cartoon when I was younger too. So if anyone knows about that cartoon, I might pop a uh, image up on the screen here of the cartoon images of Blinky Bill. Um, but I really liked the cute little koala characters and I since then really liked painting and drawing uh, Australian animals. I haven't actually done a lot of it lately. But it is something that I've always enjoyed doing and particularly koalas which you can see in my um, my profile image on Instagram, YouTube and everywhere. It's got a little koala in it and I think maybe that love of koalas came from this story and from watching that TV show in the afternoon cartoons from when I was a kid. So it was a lot of fun to um, play and Blinky Bill's a little bit mischievous um, uh, and he has a little friend, uh, her, his stepsister named Nutsy and she was probably my favourite in the cartoon um, but in the book Blinky was very, uh, a little bit mean to Nutsy um, and he was a bit of a mischief maker in, that, um, in the book, uh, he used to pad his behind before he got in trouble and he had a slingshot which I love that idea I was um, very much into that kind of thing when I was younger uh, slingshotting things and so yeah he was kind of just a little mischief maker and got up to all sorts of good and fun stuff in the outside um, and, and I loved playing outside when I was a kid um, making things out of what you could find in your environment making little huts when we go out into bushland and things like that and I spent a lot of time um, down near creeks but yeah I guess that's where my love of painting and drawing animals comes from was this this idea of Blinky Bill and his very much little cuteness so yeah the book was written by Dorothy Wall which I put on here and it's just fun to do this collaboration I think that the picture turned out really well So here is my final artwork for this collaboration. Of course I had to put a bit of purple in the title of Blinky Bill's name. And I kept everything kind of brown and in muted kind of earthy tones because he's an outside kind of dude. And I really, I really enjoyed being able to colour in some of these pictures that I'd seen so many times when reading this book as when I was growing up. 
So don't forget to go and check out the other ladies who are participating in this collaboration and their videos. The links to those in, are in the description. Most are doing a couple of videos during this week. Um, and I know Julia McNeil Crafts is doing one for every day of National Storytelling Week. If you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.